Got my water open in case I get thirsty. And soda because I hate myself. You know, one added benefit of um, coronavirus outbreak is that um, everyone in my house is staying up to like fucking five in the morning, so I don't really got to worry about noise all that much. Still a bit, but oh well. And I did play some time in between my lunch. I didn't stream because I don't want to just do ten minute streams. How do I... There we go. Oh god. Cheat codes. If you replay missions, through mission select. All you hear when you join coronavirus. Yeah. That is unfortunately the most... Uh... That's definitely the topic that comes to most people's minds. Let's see, cheat codes with special modifiers, EX, infinite, infinite ammo, all runes. Uh, I don't really like playing with cheat codes, but it's cool that they kind of implemented in there. It's just a straight up floppy disk. I'm not sure if most people growing up nowadays will even recognize what the hell a floppy disk is. Uh, thanks for stopping by, George. It's cool to have you. Let's see. I need to use this, but I need ammo. Here we go. Do this. Ah, damn it, that's not. I'm wasting ammo because I have a challenge where I have to get multiple kills with this gun, but it is not working. There we go. To me, the gore in here is just like so over the top. It's almost like, uh. So, no obvious. Like, like a Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead, I would say, are more violent from this just because it's depicted in reality, whereas this takes it to such an absurd level, it's just comical. Alright, how do I get you? This game is definitely a little bit more cryptic about what stuff to grab. I should do lores on Halo characters for your YouTube. That that'd be a cool idea. I've I'm always trying to think of ways that I can possibly branch out. And I do actually you know what? I just got done reading the first um Forerunner book, um, Cryptum. I was just kind of throwing around the idea of doing a little book review. I'm not sure how I would tackle that from a video production point of view. I have a, actually, actually am, or I have ordered a webcam. I want to do a webcam for uh, my streams going forward. But for like a for like a lore stuff, I, I guess I could throw on some pictures, some graphics for considering what I'm talking about. But. It's also, you know, books. There's not necessarily illustrations. I mean, if, if they talk about Master Chief, I can put Master Chief on there. But there's some really um, more cryptic stuff in... Um, did I not go on that? Okay, that's an opposite one. I, I, I can probably figure out a way to do it and just put myself in front of the webcam. Uh, you would definitely watch it. Uh, th that'd be awesome, George. I'm definitely going to put that under strong consideration. I know tomorrow... How do I... Okay, no, so it's telling me I need to get up there. But I did miss a secret over there. I'm going to go back for that. Um, so tomorrow I'm actually going to be working on finishing my edits of... Did I already screw that up? I might have... 
yeah, I'm just gonna go back for it. Fuck, I can't even finish my sets. I'm gonna go back and do a video. I'm gonna edit my video for uh, Plague Tale to review. I have a whole big document of um, game design ideas and mechanics that I want to do. Okay, I guess I gotta try to jump on here. But I just. I played uh, Plague Tale a while ago and I felt, you know what, I really enjoyed it. I want to do a review for it. Let's see. Can I get anything cool? Nope. Would there be anything in the Halo lore in particular? that you'd be interested in first of, or something that you might not know? Or, or would you be interested in something that you do know about, or something that you... or that you don't? Like, if you're seeking knowledge on it. Ah, shit. Alright, so... get that. Uh, where you're... up. Yep. I always forget to freaking actually grab it, I just kind of jump towards it. Let's see... The characters like Arbiter, Emil, Truth, Sheath... You know what, the um... Growing up, I read a very select few of the Halo books, and that included, um... Fall of Reach... A little bit of First Strike. I don't believe I ever actually finished it. And uh, Contact Harvest. And in Contact Harvest, I actually do a lot of backstory on um, the Prophet of Truth. He goes by a different name. I don't recall what it is. Him and the other Prophets are all characters in there. And it kind of goes through their ascension to power within the, um, within the Covenant, Covenant uh, Hierarchy. And the big turning point for them is discovering through the for there's a Forerunner AI where they're like, oh yeah, this entire thing that we're following, it's all bullshit. And then they very purposely hide that information from the rest of the Covenant so that they can get um, a seat of power. Shimmy. So let me kill these guys real quick. Shit. There we go. Um, but so yeah, so Contact Harvest is split between Johnson's perspective and the uh, who, the person who becomes the uh, Prophet of Truth. And so what he, what the Prophet of Truth learns is that it's not the reclamation, it's the reclaimers. And so the sacred artifacts I think they see on Harvest, they're not artifacts, they're literally the humans and so he learns like oh shit our entire thing is based around us being like the chosen race or whatever and so he hides that information says okay well now so nobody figures this out we need to go and kill all the humans now so that's the only reason why the humans weren't allowed into the covenant was because they were actually the true successors and so that's something the elites um, would, would bring up in the hierarchy. They'd be like, hey, how can we never offer the humans a chance to uh, join us? We have all these other species in the Covenant. It's only fair that we let them come in. Let me kill these guys. And that's why the uh, prophets uh, betrayed the elites in Halo 2. They wanted to go with the brutes because they're more willing to be indoctrinated. They just want the position of power. They won't uh, critically think about what their leaders are actually doing. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of nerdy for knowing that shit offhand, I guess. Uh, let's see. The armor in hell can take bullets but can't take any melee attacks. Yeah. It's, uh, I actually did lower the difficulty from earlier just because I'm not as familiar with this as the first game. And, you know, uh, I think most streamers would say this. It's a bit harder to 
focus like a hundred percent on a game and uh, play harder difficulty. I mean, I guess if I would shut up more, I'd probably do a little bit of a better job. But um, no, I'm, I'm have it's still still hard on normal. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm quite ready to, to stay on hard for now. Maybe on my second playthrough. Oh, oh, oh. Generally, the way I've always kind of done difficulty in games is um, I'll start through on normal, play it a second time, change difficulty one step up. Give yourself a little bit of replay value or something. I actually don't know too much lore on the Arbiter. If I were to do a video on him, it would be kind of his story in Halo 2 and why I like it. His fall from grace from, from the uh, Covenant and the actual ramifications of all that for the greater uh, Covenant conflict. Um, Emil, I am sure they have elaborated on him significantly and the lore, but as of right now, all my knowledge of him is limited to Halo Reach. Is there anything off the top of your head that you know about Emil's lore? That, that maybe I don't. So I don't believe he was in the books. I could be 100% wrong on that, though. Shit. Um, let's take your guns out. Uh, let's get this thing. Ah, uh, shit. God damn it. I wonder if the armor the Spartans wear is faulty because melees are so strong against it. Um, I think it's more of a game thing, to be honest. Uh, shit, I don't have the... Oh, no, I do have some ammo to take you out. There we go. I desperately need ammo, though. I think... If you try to explain... Oh, what the fuck is that? I think if you try to explain the logic of it, it's probably... Yeah, the bullets are going to certain speed, or the plasma is doing this amount of damage. But from a punch from an elite or a Spartan, they're supposed to be like crazy freaking strong, so that's got to be a lot of force to take out their shields. Where am? Because I know I missed. Yeah. Okay. So I missed that over there. Missed that. Guys, levels are freaking huge. Which I believe this is where I started the level, didn't I? No. Just looks very similar. But yeah. I, I would chalk it up to them just being crazy strong. No, I need to probably hit this thing. that not do anything? Maybe it didn't go... Oh, you know what? I need to do both of these at the same time. That way it kind of like extends. There we go. Are you growing tired? New. Ah, uh, damn it. Ah, uh, fuck. If you see me wasting ammo with that gun in, in particular, it's because I need that challenge. Oh god, those freaking gurgles are nasty. Um. Whoa. Okay. Cultist key. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That wasn't that bad. So 
Surprisingly, I'm not using that many rockets. Fire's a bit too slow for my taste. Uh, you know what? This is a good time to do. Damn, this thing does not charge for shit. Okay, I should not have wasted that shot. Secrets near me, nope. I don't imagine I'm the one that's gonna punch that. Oh. God, they do a really great job with the invent with the storytelling just through the environment. That's freaking gnarly. That stuff wasn't really in the original. I need a key to go through here, like, and the key is over there. Up, okay. So I either need to lower it from here. There's an entrance way in the back. Yeah, but then wouldn't the guns be useless? Um, why don't they just fight with their fists? You know what? They they should have a uh, Halo fighting game where they're just punching the crap out of each other the whole time. I I would play that. I think it's just logistics of uh, people are further away, and Spartans are really good at punching. <laughs> okay, that's not doing anything. But yeah, it, it just comes down to gameplay reasons. That that's basically it. All right, I what do I need to do? My objective is there. There's an optional thing right over here. How do I get over here? <laughs> I like how they even have it on the map. That's dope. I always thought it was funny in Halo 3 in particular, the way that you would fight with ARs is it's basically shoot at them as much as you can and then rush them and then punch them. You'd actually kill most people with a freaking punch and not the gun. Okay. I do not see anything that I can interact with. I think I might have missed something in the other room. I don't believe I did. I wonder if someone's actually done a melee only Halo playthrough. I'm just gonna go to. Oh! There's that thing. How do I. Okay, so it's chained over here. If I punch that, something will open here. So then the new question is, how do I get up there? Fuck, I am really bad at this. I'm way too tired for this right now. I should really be asleep. Um, I am probably missing something like that. It's so stupid obvious. Oh. I think I am supposed to just. Nope. God damn it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Not not super obvious. I I probably should have found it infinitely sooner than I actually did, but that only makes me a partial idiot. Now we can get to that block and punch it down. There we go. Do I need to punch him? Is that why it's green? I believe that's what it is telling me. Yep. Uh, that's so dumb. I love it. Okay, 
Okay, so that will open eventually, and I'll come back for it. <laughs> right up in his chest cavity. I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. I did think it was a little weird they didn't pick up immediately from after the events of our, um, the last game. Alright, so it came from over there. That door is still not open. Oh, did I just, just turn myself around? I need to go to the right, and I will come back and do a sweep up after. Yeah, it doesn't really pick off from the uh, last scene, which is really weird. Kind of just disregards the first one entirely, just like, I don't know, you didn't have to play this in the slightest. Did a really good job with the rollout of enemies. This one's just like tossing everything at you. So I guess yeah, it does expect you to play the last one. Whoa, shit. That's definitely a combat arena. Hammered really bad. Let's see if I. Oh, you know what? I have this. on ammo right now but I can roll with that all right should definitely start chopping some people up oh that's so gory in the best way oh got that challenge Save that charge for when I need it. Ah, oh, did it get rid of my charge? I did not know that could happen. Oh, now I know. Beautiful in the best way possible. The priest has stopped moving. I will lock in signal now. Uh, do I think Halo would be any would be way more fun if it was just fists and melees? I think it. I think it definitely be unique. I don't know how viable that is on any difficulty aside from probably easier and normal. But that would be an interesting playthrough. You should, uh, I guess even I can do it. <laughs> do it for fun, see how far we can make it. I already know in Legendary we would get gunned down in a second. You know what, after this, I'm 
I'm probably gonna look up. Hey, Halo. It doesn't even matter which one. There's probably one for each one. It's probably the same person. Doing melee only playthroughs. The only times I th would think. Ah, oh, I forgot to go back. I fucked up a bit. I didn't even see the fa the uh, fast travel thingy. I think you can go back though. Huh. But yeah, it's, it's probably the same person doing um doing the the challenge. And if not, we will institute that ourselves. I'll tell you what. Um, I, I kind of want to do Doom first, uh, but once we, once I beat this, I will do a stream where we're gonna try to do melee only, and um, I'll I'll leave it to you, to you if you have a preference on which Halo, and we'll I will give it a solid try for like an hour or two, and we'll we'll see how much progress we make. I would imagine that three might. Be the easy oh no do tanks count because you, you would get to the arc level in halo 3 and you basically really need that tank but i i will try and his guardian is somewhere in the facility ahead the hell are those just robots Oh, they're killing each other. Oh, I really need ammo. That's what I need. God, the freaking uh, micro missiles work so much better here. It's nice to actually have a solid counter to shields. Oh, there is something up there. But how do I get up there? Um, you know, there's some platforms that look to be up there. So I'll probably need to get up there first and I'll have to dash. say the lock on burst is what I need. Cool. That will definitely be easier for the bigger enemies. Alright, so let's see what should I upgrade? I'm gonna say let's upgrade the rocket launcher. Oh no Super shotgun, that's that's a the recharge time I'm not concerned about. The reload speed would be very nice, so I'm probably gonna save up for that. Alright, that's to go back. Ah damn it no damn it, damn it, damn it. Thankfully it just takes out a little chunk of your health versus the whole damn thing. Ah dip. Jeez. There we go. All right. 
Yeah, it probably would have helped if I waited. Oh, no, 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 damn it. Okay, so I probably need to jump at it while it's lower. And then... Then swing when it's higher. Yeah, because I can't really reach it from where it is right now. Okay. Oh, I can reach it. It's no big deal. It's just an invisible wall. That's actually pretty useful. Oh, a little secret up here. Swarm munitions. Really need to get more armor going. Okay. For the pinky, I am going to want this upgrade back on. <laughs> Super well. There's way too many dudes. I'm definitely getting more into the flow now. Jesus. Ah, uh, it froze. Uh, nope. My whole frickin' Xbox froze. Alright. 
I'm gonna have to hard reset, apparently. Uh... All right, uh, Xbox froze, so we're going to have a quick little intermission for about, I don't know, two, three minutes. I was having a good time. The fight was very intense, but I know some of my earlier complaints um, with Doom was the fact that it was much more chaotic than its predecessor. But I think I finally reached that zen point where I'm just like, yes, everything feels right again. So even from someone who platinumed and knows the other game, like the back of their hand, it's, it was still taking me a second to fully digest what this was bringing to the table. And I'm eager to get back to it. Uh, I should really be freaking sleeping, but I'm stubborn. I'm probably going to wind up going till 1 a.m. Pacific. I don't know how that converts for everyone else off the top of my head because I'm tired. <laughs> but that's another 45 minutes. All right, this should be coming back on any second now. Gotta do its little system loading. Extreme loading. There we go. All right, let's bring this back. Really, really having a good time with this, though. I think, you know what, you, even the first one had some issues with UI stuff. And not necessarily... It, it, was, it was overly simple. This one has things a lot more spread out, a bunch of whole bunch of things. And, you know, I, I'm willing to chalk it up to me that I forgot to do a cleanup on the last level. Because um, the other level, I did manage to go back up and sweep for sub because it gave a little reminder at the end saying, hey, you can uh, fast travel now that you're at the end of this level. That way you can move around, get whatever you missed. But uh, obviously I've been streaming this and the stream will show. If it did show it, I don't believe it did. I could be wrong. I, I could be the jackass in this situation. Oh, it's funny, hilarious when loading's like, that's 99% done, but this 99%'s gonna take longer. Or, I'm sorry, the remaining 1%'s gonna take longer than the entire other 99. Alright, so let's give that another shot. Did it save the stuff I got over here? No. Fuck. I need to get that stuff again. Good thing I checked. Here we go. Cat is trying to climb onto my lap. Trying to be very distracting. He's gonna start demanding pets and cuddles. And now he's chewing on the microphone. Don't do that. Don't, don't. You know what, give me one second. I think he took a freaking dump. Uh, my cat did not take a dump. He must have just farted, but it fucking stinks like ass. Whoops. 
just wait for that to go down. And I'm in a very weird position where when I'm streaming, do I decide, do I keep my cats in my room or do I kick them out? The um, litter box is in my room, so I can't lock them out. They start crying and screaming for it. But then they start fucking with shit when I am trying to stream. And uh, it's like messing with my mic and my cords or just asking for attention as cats do. I did not grab the freaking upgrade. I'm a dummy. Please don't tell me I just hella missed out on it. <laughs> oh, that is freaking cool. Start using this dodge more. There's just so many freaking combat options, it's hard to remember everything all at once. Shit. Oh, let's get some ammo from you. That I can do. Grapple here. I don't necessarily need to kill him with the shotgun. Damn it. Out what I wanted. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see here. Shit, 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 shit. Damn it. Are you the last one? No, you are not. Alright. Let's go back and get this. Can't believe I forgot to grab it. I'm a freaking dumb brain over here. That would have been very useful for the mancubi. How do I tell which one's switch? Okay, so this is locked on. This is... 
Huh, one has a chain. That's weird. I don't know how that would have any impact on it. Anything around here? Oh, there's a cell. Right over here. How do I get you? Oh, there we go. I'd like to think they have uh, a good sense for where developers hide things. I know how to think like one at least. Oh, it'd be so cool if you just use the frickin' uh, hook on the shotgun wherever. It doesn't necessarily have to be an enemy. Anything with a grappling hook is cool. Oh, did I t Damn, I forgot the thing over there. I need to start doing a better job of not going through freaking portals when I don't need to. You know, I think I can go back though. Okay. Cool. Let's grab this. Oh, I forgot about that thing. That was, uh... I don't think that was an original Doom. Um, by original, I mean OG Doom and Doom 2. I think th there was a tank-like boss in Doom 3 that was actually stupidly easy to kill. That, that entirety of Doom 3 was pretty easy. Not a big fan of Doom 3 in general. Alright, so I go down there. There's a combat encounter. No, that's where I came from. There's a sign beyond that wall. And this door is open also. Something I can go punch, a rune. I do have to fly towards it. God, they do such a good job of making things look so far away but still be able to grab. Oh! You fucking dropped me. Fucking dickhead. Alright, so they don't stay forever learned that lesson the hard way and thankfully this game is very free is very uh, forgiving of uh, fall damage instead of just outright killing you nothing down there cool oh They've actually made the Kako demons ridiculously easy to kill because um, if you shoot a frag grenade or a grenade from the uh, combat shotgun, you can stagger them automatically. So you, there's no real reason why you would have to just straight out deal damage. Ah, you freaking fucked up my thing. Fucking asshole. thing down there. Two. Where am I going? Here. Uh, there we go. Alright, so up went to the left. Some good opportunity. And ah, oh, it's gonna kill all these guys, isn't it? Actually, no. Oh, this dude's making shields. 
Oh, this is gonna be a gold mine for this challenge. Let's see if I can get. No, that's about it. And a secret right in plain view for me. <laughs> uh, I love that stuff. And I would actually kill to have those. have three of these equipped so let's choose wisely I'm gonna say speed boost it's the way to go Anything else? Nope. Let's see, is this thing gonna spin around? And my cat's climbing on me again. Oh. Not great timing, cat. I'm currently spec to use my ice grenades. Maybe I should eventually go back to frag. But the ice is so freaking useful. I can afford that super shotgun upgrade. Awesome. Let's see if I can get this thing in. I guess the imps and the uh, demon humans do not get along in the slightest. A lot of these guys don't get along. Oh yeah, that reload speed frickin' helps like crazy. Oh, I am having a real good time with this. I know it's been a bit of a Debbie Downer the first hour or so, but goddamn. It is, it is clicking for me now. There's something over there. Oh, this soundtrack is so good too. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh no, I hella missed. Oh, I did not mean to actually do that properly. So happy little accident for me. I would like the Doomsayer to use more of his fist, but the blade is pretty sweet too. Could use some more ammo. Let's 
something on top of the structure and something below that I probably have to jump off to get, would be my guess. So let's try that. Oh no, it's in the room, okay. Oh, I need to jump over again. What the fuck? I didn't realize demons cared that much to uh, keep people in frickin' coffins. Do I need to hide myself in one of those, or what's the deal here? Did open the door. Like I can drop down there eventually, but we will see. Level design is a real giant step up from last time. So that's how I cross. There was something in there, though. I want to know how I get over to there. This position is useful. A little hard to see like this. Is that the only entrance way into there? Would be my question. Let's see if I can get a better look. Oh, nope. There's a little path up there. That's what I need to do. Let's see this whole freaking ring around. to its first game. Commander Keen, such a freaking different tone. It's basically a kid's game. But now look at them. You know what? Let's try this one more time, because I bet I could... Oh, yep. You can go higher. One shot kill on stagger. That is a good cheat. Thank you for that. If I do say so myself, I'm doing a pretty decent job finding stuff. Alright, let's see. What else can I upgrade? Heavy cannon could probably use some love. There we go. Let's 
challenge is gonna take freaking forever. It's not because it's hard, just because it has to do it so many individual times. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I still have to kill the dude. My brain tells me to go the complete opposite direction. One up. I think the soundtrack's definitely a bit more on the electronic side. Alright, I've kind of got more in the flow of using uh, the chainsaw more often. Yeah, yeah, might as well just get this. Whatever. Ammo is definitely more limited than. Uh, Light. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Good opportunity to get this thing going, though. So let's waste some freaking ammo. And there we go. All for the sake of the challenge. Oops. Not that it's a. That's like a freaking Terminator thing. The Sentinel batteries I'm supposed to be using for... I'm supposed to use those for the ship, I believe, but when the heck do I actually go back there? Oh, got the key cards. I was supposed to go over there either way, I guess. Because there's that door. Was it not the Slayer who brought the demons to us? The con maker has you to thank for the gift of argent energy. It is you who are responsible for your people's suffering. No. Fuck you. Doom guy does not give a fuck. You know what, they make the pinkies a lot easier to deal with now that you have a dodge. But I'm just gonna freeze you, do this the easy way. Yeah, I don't think I'm going back to the frag anytime soon. The freaking uh, freeze is too freaking godly. Oops. Oh, shit. Takes a second for that to load. <laughs> oh, the plasma cannon is so useful now. It was always a good gun, but being able to blow up shields now is just a freaking added bonus. That is so good. Speed boost is actually really nice. Nothing up there. What the hell is you? I don't know much like a 
Prowler. Basically a Mega Imp. Oh, it teleports. Okay. Killed it easy enough, I guess. Give me some Mass Effect 2 vibes. What the fuck is. Is that the thing that's gonna wind up on the tank? I'm gonna assume so. I imagine that is the boss. Okay. God, it's so cool that they have that stuff on the map also. Yeah, the dude's definitely going on top of the tank. That's locked. And there's a hole there to get to the thing below. Okay. So, jump, fly, punch. Easy enough. And except for the part where I actually land through the thingy. But at least it's gone now. I guess I don't even really need to run around. I'm just doing it because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Thanks, dude. Let's see any suit upgrades worth getting. I have four. Big ones. I don't really need those. I will save up for the ice grenade ones. Or I guess the last one of that at least. Was he like a general or something? That's why he specifically was in a coffin. Was was he always a tank driver? That's just what they're planning for him now. Oh, that's glass. Okay. I know you open, so just open and let me come on through. Or maybe I do have to come 
to go to it through the other side. And then that's how the door opens. Nope. Okay. We're at the shop. Alright, so maybe don't drop down after. Welcome we'll back. He seems a lot bigger now. Slayer identified. What the fuck? That's a chainsaw? Fuck. Oh, so this is just like a regular enemy. The shield and sled are weak points. Fuck you and your sled, dude. Oh, this guy has so much freaking health. You know what? Fucking swap grenades. Not that. I'm surprised power ups aren't a big thing in here. See if I can get a punch in on this dude. Get some health in. damage over anything right now. Yeah, 
Cool. Jesus. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, I told myself I wouldn't jump down there. We are not done yet. What the fuck? More? Yeah, damn it. I think these things are at least a little bit weaker. Okay, that that was <laughs> the beast. That does does he not seek and hence power? <laughs> <laughs> to age and noble conquest. Perhaps in return for my <laughs> Uh Doom Slayer does not care. He just wants to fucking murder everything. George says, uh, you're good. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Blood punch upgrade. Cool. I hope I have the opportunity to at least go back to these levels to do a sweep of everything that I missed. I think after, if there's a little cutscene or whatever, we'll watch them. I'm probably gonna call it a stream after this point. Ooh, it is well time for me to go to bed. And I would say I have a long day tomorrow, but I don't. Thankfully, I have weekends off, but I will probably be streaming for the overwhelming majority of the day. Got some stuff to do in the morning. Eat some breakfast, eat some lunch, but I'll be on the majority of the day. Our system is being corrupted. This game has gone far enough. I will have her transmission removed in a moment. Despite the loss of the priests, Earth will fall, and my people will survive. I will answer the human's prayers, reward those that believe. This hub was of the Maker's design. She knows the system well. The final priest will be moved to a more discreet location. 
41.3% increase of demonic activity at the nexus of the initial invasion. That is the largest gore nest on Earth. I will set the portal coordinates for the super gore nest now. You see, Vega was the name of the AI from the first game, but you had to kill him in order to travel to hell. So did he go back and salvage it somehow, or...? Master levels... I do not know what a master level is. Mission select. Oh, so you can go back. To revisit completed missions to find items and complete encounters you may have missed. Okay, so I did a pretty good job overall. I could do a better job, but you know what? I'm, I'm not going to bother wasting my time in this current playthrough doing it. That's something I'll go back and do towards the end. Or just keep it in mind for a second playthrough. Alright, I'm going to call the stream. Thank you for hanging out, chilling. I look forward to it basically every single day. And I'll be streaming most of the day tomorrow. Alright, have a good night. Try to get some sleep.